Hey, what's up, guys? Well, let's go back here. And today, as I said at the end of yesterday's video, we are trying the Zarami Zar Zar Priest. Um, for those that don't know, it's this broken card. It takes an extra turn. You combine it with Divine Spirits and Blessed. And then, you know, it's large. And it one-shots your opponent. Um, especially if you could combine it with things like, uh, ship, uh, is that S Surgeon? I don't think so, but this guy, then he starts at 8, 8 goes up to 16, 16 goes up to 32, Bless makes that 34, and you kill your opponent. Or you get, combine it with Shout Devour, so on and so forth. Anyways, with that being said. How about we queue up the first game and let's see how it goes, right, guys? Yeah, I'll see you guys all in the first one. All right, the start is pretty solid, actually. This whole start is silly. Uh, the only thing I could have hoped for maybe is like a horn or this guy. Uh, let's start with this. It's a little bit less pressure. But I think this into this into this into this is just slightly better. Okay, I thought my game crashed there, so I was like, fuck. That's five, right? Yeah. And if not, I mean, I could always just close here. This is this is too good. Okay. Man, this is not what I thought this Zarami was gonna be used for. And this kind of makes me a little sad, not gonna lie. It's such a good draw. You didn't read that first part of this card. You have earned an eternity of torment. I'm one dragon off, right? Sadly. Alright. I just win the game anyways next turn, right? This is 9, so that's 11. That's lethal, yeah. This deck does not feel <laughs> It might be because I had an insanely good start, but... Bro, sus. I don't say I'm pretty anxious. I can't mind. It doesn't compare to the plague. Alright, well... GG! Seems about right. On four plagues so far. Four or five plagues. That's kind of insane. <clears throat> Over three turns drawing five plagues. That's on average like one a turn. Man, that's kind of insane. Or almost two a turn actually. Jesus Christ. Anyways, this deck does feel just as oppressive as I thought it was gonna feel, so let's get some free wins while we can. Anyways, with that being said, let's skip the next one. All right, um, assuming it's aggro, I want to keep this. Okay, 
I need to find another dragon, more important. Let's go. That's actually an insane one. Put this on one. Hopefully draw another dragon over the next two turns and then do both of those on two. Yeah, three. Try to play uh, this guy as fast as possible. We have turned our curse into our strength. Sorry about that. I'm going to have to remember to edit that out. Uh, right there on the back of this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was my, I don't know if I could call them a virtual assistant, or what? Should have played the other one. I missed one damage. I miss is developing one damage. Okay. Uh... I have a free trade into there. This is a huge here, actually. Um, pretty free there. Oh, that's a really good draw. That, 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 that. Okay. I'm at four. I could develop, like, all of these next turn to just flood out my board, see what he does. If he devolves me, he devolves me. I play this afterwards. Probably good enough to win over two turns with all of that shit, I'll be honest. That's a really good for him, actually. Plus, is really nice, too. I should have played this first. Oops. Miss a little bit of value. Miss giving us plus one health. Ah, that's kind of bad. 3-5 is really good here. Hmm. Kill the 1-2. Killing the 1-2 is actually really good for him. Killing the 3-4. Going to the dome. Oh, is this lethal? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this is 7. So that's 9 plus 8. So that's 1 damage off lethal. Gotta go for it. I don't think there's any damage in here, is there? Not really. Five, that's two different. This is three differential. Two differential. Yeah, there is no, there is no minion. I think put that on to, to actually squeeze out lethal there. What is it? Let's kill him with a peasant. Cause I think that idea is funny. Righto. Right Oh, turns out taking an extra turn is toxic and broken. Alright. Well, two games in ten minutes. This this is not fair. Let's skip the next one and let's let's get you to see just how unfair this deck is, right guys? Yeah. See you guys all in the next one. All right, well, I'm all that. This hand is silly. Do a lot of spells in the early game. Probably allows me to out-tempo my opponent in the mid-game. By the way, I hope everybody has a beverage.
I'll probably go for this next turn. Hopefully I draw a dragon so I can do both of these. That's like ideal. Any dragon. Yeah, that's not ideal. I have a very, very slow start, but at least I can use Cleric to draw, to try and get a Divine Spirit or something. It's pretty good. interesting how that did not count i have two different draw spells for dragons which is why i felt this was fine is this at three now or four it's on four okay draw two gets me this guy gets me now one drop yeah let me start with this but no i think this is slightly better because i could actually play the one drop here It's really hard to beat. He's not Reno. But he's playing Renathal. Bro. This is toxic as fuck. Never being able to resolve a minion is pretty toxic, turns out. But it's fine. This is gonna get countered, so I don't really want to do that. I'd rather develop this here. I need to draw one drop dragon. Ugh. It's only a four so and it's turned five already. That's rough. That'd be rough though. I need the razor scale to resolve is the problem. That's why I want to find a one drop. I actually might lose this game. I'm really, really far behind. The dragons come. By the wings. I want this to resolve because it slows him down a lot. The other rewind is holding another objection, which he's going to play here. Because he knows as soon as I get to actually resolve Timewinder, I just win the game, right? We both know the first one to take an extra turn wins the game, and the fact that he's hit. Oh, that, that's a fucking flame. My bad. What's a nice block? Okay, I've lost the game. I've lost. Uh, there's no way I actually win the game anymore. I'm too far off being able to play this. If I knew that's how this worked, I should have played this earlier, because then I could have actually taken the extra turn here, but it doesn't matter anymore. Takes an extra turn and I die. There's a million objections, it's really hard to beat him. Uh. Taking the extra turn allows me to proc is blocked, then I have no... No way of threatening anything, but I think, still think I have to go for it, right? I'm one minute off guaranteeing it.
Alright, well. I misplayed a little bit there. Sorry about that. Uh. Yeah, I misplayed. But I deserve to lose. I misplayed. I should have raised my guy's health to make it so it's harder for him to actually play things. Just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Oh well. You just have a way to take an extra turn out when the game though. I know for a fact that's an objection. And I beat objection. One time don't have it. Oh my god. Oh, we're the better take an extra turn deck turns out. Go dragons. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. I got really lucky there, I'll be honest. I got really, really lucky. Almost misplayed by playing an extra dude, but... Uh, at least I saw the line. That's all I'm happy about. Anyways, with that being said, let's... uh. Let's skip the next one, alright guys? I'll see you guys all there. Alright, another shaman. Keep this all the rest. Pretty good on one. Uh, we have turned our curse into our strength. Gaze upon my might. A wandering mind, perhaps. <laughs> Uh, some of the dudes. I didn't realize that these counted towards Zeremy last game, which I should have played that better if I knew that. Like, I'm going to play this this turn. There's how many non-dragons in the deck? None? One left? If I draw that one, I mean, I deserve to lose, but... Thank God. I just have valued him so hard there that it's probably not good enough to win the game, but it's definitely good enough to give me a shitload of tempo and to kind of steal how far ahead I am. As long as this doesn't roll taunt, I should be fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Poke, poke. Discover. One drop. Pick the one drop there because next time I'm playing this, switch buffs it and play this. It's a 2 4. Turn after that, take an extra turn. Oh, I didn't play this. Fuck. That's pretty bad, actually. Uh, I can, like, poke, play this. I can also just play this here. Also, just for that. One minute off that. No, oh, let's just do this. I can tank five for a turn, that's fine. 
It's also like now if I draw that, uh, this guy I'm in a pretty good spot, if I'm being honest. Alright, I guess I take 10 here. Or he works my board. He picks between board control and face. Seeing how he's been playing, he's gonna go. Really? He chose board control? Well, I never saw him picking board control in my life, I'll be honest. Really bad. Seven. One, two, three, ten, twelve. Not quite good enough. That's fine though. Really fucking good for him. Oh. I can race this. This is a big thing. Fuck, I should have stolen health first. It's a huge one on my part. Missed two health on this boyo. Take your time. Alright. It's really hard for me to lose from this position now. Even with Devolve, I should still be able to win. Because eventually I will hit the Divine Spirits. And then Divine Spirit, Divine Spirit, bless something. It's probably just good enough. Alright. Oh. This is six next turn plus three. Six plus three plus seven is sixteen, nineteen, twenty. Five minus four is still lethal. Five minus five actually is still lethal. I don't think it matters, right? This is just lethal. I'm not gonna overthink things. Beautiful. Man, this deck is ridiculous. Why does everybody not just play this? It's free legend. This deck feels legitimately like free legend. It's kind of wild. Anyways, uh, we have to for at least one more game, so let's queue it up. All right, sorry about that. I was just texting a buddy of mine. Keep one of those. Like, yeah, I could keep two, but double surgeon. Interesting. Plus, draw a whole bunch of dragons. Here, it's the right choice. Draw a whole bunch of dragons. Or I could also play just this. I'll lose the file though. In that case. I think I'm down to risk losing to the file, I'll be honest. If he goes 2-1 into the file, I lose to it, but that requires him having both of those cards in a matchup where I'm pretty sure he expected aggro, or uh, control, if you don't really keep the file in that matchup. That's fine. It's perfectly fine. Coin Dark Bomb? Or Coin Touch? You know what? I'm fine with that. He was a lot of removal there. He's not in the best position anymore. 
next turn, I'm probably gonna go for this into this the turn after, into playing a whole bunch of guys, and just hope I slowly draw spells. And from this point on, I think it's actually better for me to draw spells over draw basically anything else. Turn with your turn when this awakens, reduce the cost of all dragons in your hand by four. I've never seen this card in my life. I'm gonna take this in case somehow he does find a way to get a little bit ahead. This is just gonna be six mana kill something. Not bad. Playing this next turn, probably plus both of these one drops. Uh, this the turn after. I actually don't want to play the two bridge. That deck has a really hard time with the two the the two bridge. The two bridge fucks that deck up typically, so don't really want to play this guy. Ah, uh, no, this buffs it, right? The dragons come. The two bridge is the hard part. If he has a two bridge, he has a two bridge. It is what it is. But if not, I mean, he's just dead on board, right? He not have to file anymore. He should be dead. He'd be hard pressed to find something that can he, he can actually stop this with, right? Knowing that I have to take an extra turn spell in hand. Is that 19, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13? 13 plus 4, 17? 6, 10, 8, 10, 11, 15. Oh, I actually just had lethal. Uh, there is no deck, I think, in the game right now that is easier to hit Legend with than this deck. This deck doesn't make sense. This deck is broken. Actually broken. Honestly, I'm a little disgusted with myself, so I'm not going to play any games with that deck. Um, that deck did not... That deck is just so good. It's so good, and a fucking baboon can play it. Proof, I had success with it. Like, you think, you think I, I'm good? Nah, bro, I'm, I'm worse than a baboon, honestly. I'd probably say the average baboon has more IQ than I do, so. Fuck, like. I don't even know how that deck loses. <laughs> like, straight up. If you curve out decently, you just instantly win the game. Uh, that deck is... It just doesn't make sense. Honestly, this deck is way too good. I don't comprehend. This is the best deck in Wild. I'm gonna say it. This is the single best deck in Wild. You consistently kill on 5. Like, on 5 you take an extra turn and you kill your opponent on 6. Or on 6, you take an extra turn, you kill your opponent on 7. Like, it doesn't make sense how good this deck is. And, like, the worst part is that I have a feeling it's going to get this card nerfed. And the only thing I want to see this card get nerfed by is raising the mana cost. I would be perfectly fine if this card was an 8 mana 8-8 eight, eight with this effect. Is then hear me out, I could still play a big dragon deck that's playing all the cool dragons, right? If I go look at dragon, uh, I could be playing the things like Draconid, Double Dustbreaker, you know, Murrow, things like that, even like this, because I absolutely love this deck, and like a Reno list, right? But no, you kind of just have to play aggro because this card costs five for no fucking reason. Besides the fact that it's just like, ah, yes, this is not fair. You know what card I wish was playable? I wish this guy was playable. I absolutely loved playing Galakron Priest, but the meta is just so fast. You just... I would love them, honestly, to slow down wild by, like, two turns by just increasing the starting life total. 
Instead, you keep it at 30, and while you set it to 40, Renathal sets you to 50. Like, I know people are going to be like, oh, but then that kills off all the aggro. It doesn't kill off all the aggro decks. This deck is still an aggro deck that kills you off still, right? But it just means that you will have games that are going to go to the turn 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, you know, the later game turns. And I want to be able to play a value deck that uses Galakron to just generate infinite value from its hero power and shit like that but sadly decks like that don't really work nowadays but right, who knows uh, maybe i'll try a reno galakron priest and then like combine it with like raza and bullshit i think that could be fun but hey anyways there, there's nothing else to say this is the best deck in wild free legend build it when it gets nerfed cry but be fair, you're building it, you cost you one legendary. Everything else is like dirt cheap. The Razor Scales are played in other decks, at least one of them. Amalgam is played in some Pirate Rogue lists, but. And the Shower Devour is played in the other combo priest list, so. Honestly, just build it. It's. If you have never hit Legend before, there's no better way to do it than this deck. This deck is easy, is relatively fun ish, and yeah. Anyways, with that being said, I don't have much else to say, so hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Don't forget to grab a beverage for your next video. I don't think I said that I had a beverage, but I had a beverage this whole time. I'm drinking myself a nice cold brewski. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I don't have much else to say, so with that being said, I'll see you guys all on the next one. Peace.